February is Black History Month. Let me tell you a little bit about black history right here in Central Kentucky. The first black man freed in the state of Kentucky was Monk Estill, right here in Madison County. The time and place of his birth are not known, but Monk arrived in Kentucky with his master, James Estill, in the 1770s. While residing at Fort Boonesboro, Monk Estill's wife gave birth to the first black child born in Kentucky. In 1780, Monk was moved to Estill Station, three miles southeast of what is now known as Richmond. While at Estill Station, Monk was captured by the Wyandotte Indians. During his captivity, he was able to convince his captors that Estill Station was heavily armed with more than 40 armed men, when in reality, the station was almost defenseless. Estill's tall tale convinced his captors to delay their attack. When the Wyandots left Estill Station, they took Monk with them. Captain Estill and his men tracked the Wyandots to Little Mountain in what is now known as Mount Sterling. When Monk became aware that Estill and his men were close by, he alerted the captain to the number of Wyandot and encouraged Estill and his men as they fought off his captors. Monk fought until he was able to free himself and then aided Estill and his men during the bloody battle. Many men were lost and the Battle of Little Mountain became known as Estill's defeat. While Monk and the other soldiers began to retreat, Monk picked up one of the injured men and carried him 25 miles back to the station. In 1782, Monk Estill was freed by Wallace Estill, the son of James Estill. As a free man, Monk became a Baptist minister. He resided in Kentucky until his death in Madison County in 1835.